Hello everybody. So this is my next video on um, the pro first problem set for the Hopkins Bio 621 class. But this is again, if anyone else is following who doesn't have, um, who's not part of the Hopkins 620, 621 class, it's okay. Um, I'm, I will provide the data files that I use this for, uh, use all my manipulations with, and uh, you can follow along. You don't need. Uh, the PDF or what have you. Anyway, so I'll begin by opening status. So I have opened state already, and then I'll put that browse command. And the only reason I do that is because I want to see the data, and I want to see the mini when I do all these various things in the commands. I want to see the mini manipulations happening to the data set. It just lets me see everything. I like that. And um, another thing I want to tell you guys about is about the log file. Now um, you open a log file, and a log file is basically a running tally of all the stuff that you've done in the command line and the results. So let me open it. You go it's next to the printer icon, and you click that, and you make up something. I don't know. I'll call it first, or I don't know, uh, second. Who knows? So there, it's created. My log file is created, and let's add the new data set. Um, and you can see all of this data set has now been populated and we got all this data okay much more than before so uh, we can do the same thing we can just figure out describe and figure out what sort of shows me what the data set is showing I can do code book shows lets me know again a little bit more information about all this stuff you know all this kind of stuff I can do and if I want, I could do another command. I guess I want to show you guys is um, summarize. It's a new one. So summarize allows me to get more, like a min and max. So watch, I'll show you. So summarize, um, say total charge, and I'll say age. I want to know what the age is, and I want to see what the year is. So these three variables right here. Mm -hmm. So let's do that, and you'll see what happens. And you'll see. Oh, so you can figure out much more it's a quicker way of figuring out things faster it's sort of like codebook but it's compressing all the codebook stuff into just lines and it's a good way of just having a quick overview of the data sets so let's so the problem set that we worked on the next one for a carotid endorectomy starts by sorting the sex and um, sorry so you can see, let me go here. I just want to show you guys as we're doing it on the fly. So look, sort sex. And the sex has already been sorted, so nothing really happened. Um, the next one was, now we want to go by, we want to make another stem and leaf plot. But this time we want to do it by male or female. So by sex, you can see that, by sex. And then we want to do stem. We want to make a stem and leaf plot. And the variable that I want to do it of is by total charge. So if I wanted, I could have done it by smoker, by smoker, or by whatever. So let's do this one. And you'll see all, all this stuff, all this data just came out of me. So this is fem the female or women's stem and leaf plot, and this is of the total charges, and you can see this is for the male's total stem and leaf plot. It looks like the male's is, um, you know, they're basically the same skew, but maybe different values. Um, if you I want, I can make something. I can make another stem and leaf plot. Watch. So sort. And we'll say by smoker. Right. Look at smoker when I do that. You'll see smoker. There's there's a no and a, it's a no yes and it's. Let me sort that. Uh, now you see all of the no's are together. Uh, and those who knows that whole bunch of data sets. And then there's now yeses. Now I can make a stem and leaf plot. So watch by smoker. Right. This is not part of the problem set, but anyway, we're showing you stem, tote charge, and that should be it. And you can see it's totally different, or it's not totally different, but it's now yes. Uh, it's a little bit different, but anyway, this is one way of playing around the data. So let's go back to sort sex, because that's what I'm working on. So I'm going to sort all the sexes. You can see all the sexes, the male and females, are all jumbled up. Let's jumble them, let's make them back to normal. And we did that by sex. And I want to make a stem and leaf plot. And I wanted of to toe charge. And we just made that there. All this fun stuff. Right? OK. So the next command is uh, actually, it's a summarize command. I've already showed it to you. Um, but this one is actually in more detail. So 
and you can see I, this time I've added the con so we're doing it by sex male and female and I want total charge and I want detail so you'll see what detail does with the summarize command see you got more max you can now variances and skewness and all the kind of fun stuff we rarely use skewness but um, all, the, all the percentiles and what have you so um, the other uh, command that the problem set speaks of is I want to show you it actually we play around with the data file let me show you something so first let's clean the data up a little bit so first what we want to do is you'll notice that there are a whole bunch of years 1994 93 91 I don't care about those years so I want to delete those years so we send drop if now these are like these are conditions so I want to drop if the year is equal to basically equal to I know there's like a funny sign that's the this this symbol is the symbol next to the one next to the one it's not the one but next to it. it's like the little squiggly sign like an approximation anyway watch what happens so I just dropped you'll notice on the data set now it's only 1995 so I just dropped out seven seven thousand two hundred and thirty nine some odd data files anyway now it's all 1985 see so anyway, I want to now add a new variable right here. So I've got total charge age year, but I want to make something else right here. I want to add something. So how do I do that? So right like this. We actually generate a file. So if you want to generate, and you can put conditions to this generation. So let me actually, let, let me show you this. Generate, and I can say uh, blah and oh and it needs a value generate needs a value I'm sorry generate um, blah so generate equal one nope, no okay so generate oops generate blah equals not you have to do double equal now I don't know why exactly but the state is a little bit goofy like that anyway double equal one you'll see why oh maybe just one equal I I think I there is a time when you need a double equal anyway uh, equals one ah so there you go so I just generated blah equal one right all these ones right so um, but uh, th that's just me showing you how to generate a variable on this on the data browser. Let's sh let me show you the real command line. There we go. Generate age. I want to make age sex and equal 1, but I only want to do it if someone is less than 50 and who is equal to 1. The, the double equal sign. Here's where the double equal sign comes into play. And double equal sign equals means male. Anyway, let me show you what this does. So, now you notice I made the age age sex but now there's a one when age is less than 50 and it's a man right and you'll see that it is a man these are all the men so this is a way of making uh, values and variables in the data editor now let me go to the next one quickly let's and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna populate that entire field all right so this is just basically whenever you want to replace these data places you literally say replace replace you give the variable name and you give whatever it should equal and you can give the conditions and that's what I've done here let me just delete all these periods because there should be no periods before the command alright now watch what happens now you see that all of a sudden I've got all these populated fields okay so what we're doing with basically is we're creating a graph you'll see and so I want to label these alright let me just do that so I'm labeling and creating a new data file a new variable since there we go let me just clean that up mm. okay there has to be one I'm sorry if you put a little bit I have to do a little bit of editing here I'm sorry What's that doing there? Get away. All right. 
so I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Label define sex one one m less than equals fifty comma two comma f less than or equal to fifty three m fifty one dash sixty four four f fifty one dash sixty four So the next variable let's create another one so this one will create oops so what we're doing is we're just creating all these new data files or we're just not sorry we're just cleaning up the data making it more presentable and let's sort We just sorted all the data data files or the uh, variables. And let's make a graph really quick. You'll see that graph will be generated, uh, and you see that there's a graph generator. You see something like this, where there are box plots for the various 50 males, women, all these various age groups and sexes, and various total charges, but. Uh, the, all the data has been compressed sort of in one area and I, I want to change that so we can transform the data. We can learn about transformations later on in uh, 621 but let's transform the data and let me show you how you transform the data. So basically you're doing the same thing. You're making a file so I'm generating um, log 10 charge right and right next to it watch so I'll do that and I want it equal to the total charges, or the, the log of the total charges, log 10 of the charges. And you'll see I've just done that. All that's been created. And then at the very end, we sort age sex. I believe it's already been done, but we'll do it just in case. And there we go. And the last one. And now let's make a graph of it. There we go. And you'll see that now it's the transformation is a little bit more easier to understand. You can see it's all instead of all being all squashed. So that was the first problem set from 621. Um, I didn't tell you exactly what how to answer all the questions, but I'm just showing you the data, how to play with data. And so we learned about a whole bunch of commands, and um, you can go back to this video anytime you want, or you can uh, comment on this video. All right, thank you very much. Bye bye.